Okay guys, back at Juno's air cold and competition. Got the air conditioner on so it's making a little noise and what have you. I just want to say I'm missing my boy Jay. JR. He uh, passed away on the 17th of this month. And uh, man, I tell ya, I, uh, I'm really missing them. I know a lot of you will say, well, if you're missing them, why are you getting a new dog? I think that's why I'm getting a new dog. I just can't stand it no more. And Friday came around, and my wife, I told her, I said, get on the internet and see if you can find another chocolate. Because I like those chocolate American cockers. Uh, the reason why I like them, I don't know. They just seem so friendly with the people. Jay always got along with everybody he wanted to meet. Now, whether or not this one here will be that way, I don't know. Well, we found one. And I cried for two days. I couldn't cry no more. <laughs> A 70-year-old man crying, huh? Well, it happens. This dog was 16, going on 17 years old. He was five weeks into the 17. And, uh... Well, I tell you, nothing ever hit me like this. Uh, 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 an animal. I don't know what. To, I, I just can't say enough. He come down. He would get me and take me up to bed. He'd look at me. Uh, I'd go to the shower. He'd be outside. He'd bark. Open that shower door. He wanted to know if I was okay or not. Uh, he'd go in and lick the shower water. Weird stuff, but he was something else. I asked the vet about that. The vet said, no, I didn't hurt him any. Uh, he was just around me all the time. Uh, if I was out here in the shop working, he'd come out around the corner over here and uh, around the corner over there and check on me. And uh, most of the time he was in here on that little blanket right over there. He'd be laying on that uh, quilt right there. I left it here. Uh, I'm going to wash it and uh, put it out for the new dog. I hope he does the same. But there's the steps. He'd come down and check on me every night and say, hey, it's getting late. And then he'd go back up and check with Marlene. And then after a while, when it was around 12 o'clock, he'd come down. So uh, anyhow, I just miss him so much. Uh, but I know a lot of people will say, well, if you miss him so much, why are you getting a new dog? Well, I just can't stand it to be alone without having a, a cocker. And the funny thing about it, when we went up to get this cocker, he's, there he is. I, I'll have to go around here and see if I can. Uh, there he is right there. Don't know if you can see him good or not, but uh, he has all the markings that Jay did. And I just uh, threw up my hands and Marlene looked at one another and we said, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not uh, super religious or anything. I do believe in a superior being and uh, somebody has power over you and all that stuff. Uh, and I do believe in prayer. Uh, but... Uh, I'm not a, a steady church goer or anything like that. I go with Marlene to Mass and, and stuff like that. But uh, I couldn't believe it when I seen that dog. And I just decided I'm getting him. So we both looked at one another and decided we're going to go. But I want you all to know, old Gino has a soft space or a soft place in his heart for animals. I hate to see him killed. I hate to see him hunted. I don't hunt no more. I used to. Uh, I don't mind fishing because I can release them, but I just can't kill animals. I, I hate that. Uh, and I hated to have to put him down, but he was uh, in bad shape uh, when I got here uh, Monday night. Uh, we went up to get some cores, me and my wife, and then we came back. He was barking and trying to bark. He's, he's so weak. Uh, and uh, he uh, messed himself, and I cleaned him up and put him in his little bed there, and 
got everything organized and cleaned up and I put him back in the bed. He has a pillow beside my bed up there. I put him on the pillow and he slept there all night and the next day we had to take him up and put him down and I just cried for two days. I, I missed him so bad. But I wanted to put this video up and explain I have a seat, yeah, a soft spot in my heart for American cockers. Uh, a lady give us a English Cocker. My wife loves that dog. That's her brand, English Cockers. They're okay. I don't have nothing bad to say about them. I just like American better. That's me. I think she was a little upset when she found out we were going to get a uh, American and not an English, but I'm sorry. I, I just don't want two of the same brand. Uh, I want to mix it up a little bit. So there you are, guys. I said enough. And uh, I hope you all understand what I'm going through. And don't blame me for getting another dog too soon. I, I just can't stand it here. It's going to be a try and error with this little rascal. But uh, maybe he won't like me. I don't know. And uh, maybe he'll like Marlene. But uh, he'll be with me. And uh, if you see us at the races, I'm going to take him with me. And uh, he'll be my companion again. JJ is his name, and we'll have videos up if it's if he wants to do it, like we did with JR. But I'll never forget Jay. He has a special place right here in me. I love him very much, and I always will. Talk to y'all later from Gino's Air Cool. Just an old subtle medalist. Goodbye, guys.